I uh, completed a, uh, an assessment on a house this week, and it's it's pretty old. It's uh, probably built in the late 1800s. And so there are some issues that anytime you own a house like this, you really need to think about. Here's the thing about older houses. Most, in fact, all of them are built with lath and plaster. So when you deal with lath and plaster, uh, you're, you have to have a binding agent. So they used to use either horsehair or they used asbestos. The, and the quantity of this binding material will change whether you're talking about walls or a ceiling because gravity is always pulling a ceiling down. So I was in this basement and uh, looked up and there's this classic lath and plaster gray kind of looking material and it's collapsing, it's falling down off of it. And just to remember, if it does have asbestos in it, it'll be in the 10 to 15% range of the volume of the plaster. And that's a lot. So if you're a homeowner, you know, you can expose yourself to anything you want. Um, there, there aren't any laws saying you can't do anything to yourself. But uh, if you hire somebody, say, to pull this plaster down because it's going to never end, uh, you really need, you no, you're required to know whether or not that's asbestos containing. So you have to have somebody who has a state license to collect samples. Uh, generally, it's three or five samples, depending on the square footage. And also remember that the laboratory has to analyze, analyze each layer of materials. So normally, there's uh, you have your lath, which is the wood, then you have a coarser material, and then you have a smooth finishing surface. And so you collect one sample, you get two laboratory results. So just be aware of that. If it's horsehair, you really should just simply know whether or not you have a problem. If you choose to do the work yourself, you should still know that you're dealing with asbestos issue. It'll expose to your family. So you may have to purchase uh, a HEPA vacuum, personal protective equipment, uh, anything like that. If you hire someone to do this, it is considered friable. So if you do hire someone to do this kind of work, they have to be licensed to do asbestos abatement. No way around that. You, d you don't want to hire somebody who's not licensed because that means that they have the training and the equipment and they're going to build the barriers, use negative air machines. They're going to do it correctly. And uh, you, you want that for your house. Bob Bennett, Farsight Management. It's better to use Farsight than Hindsight.